Hi there, welcome back. We are going to do episode number 15. Before I start, I'll just say I'm really close to the screen and my mic's balanced on something and if it falls, it breaks. So I'm very, very scared to move even. I will move, I'll probably forget. But I need to find a new stand for it. Um, I don't know what happened. There's a bolt missing and I can't even find it. Between taking it off last time and picking it up this time is it's broken somehow if i could find the bolt it wouldn't be broken but like i've looked for about 10 minutes i can't find it anywhere there's only so so many places it can be and it's not there it's not in any of them anyway um yeah episode number 15 i just moved then <laughs> i got so scared this is a bad idea never mind episode 15 right so episode 14 left off <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to stop looking at this microphone i'm needing to put it out of my head this is just such a bad idea anyway right so episode number 15 14 ended with yeah, it turned out the principal is a, or a former Slayer's son. <laughs> so that was unexpected. And he saw her, well, man, she manifested the first, it was the first, right? And um, I wasn't sure if that was the first time he saw her or whether it's the first time he saw her with the knowledge that it's the first and he didn't know what it was before. So maybe I'm thinking it wasn't the first time and it was the first time with the knowledge that it was the first. In which case, I guess it would make sense that he buried, it wouldn't really make sense, but it would make more sense that he buried um, Jonathan's body like he did. Because if his mum was telling him to do that, but I mean, we, just the way he did that as well, the way he just silently, maybe she was in, in, off, in his office, she, <laughs> the first was in, as her, was in his office and she was giving him instructions and telling him he's got to do it. And when he exited his office, that time when he went down to bury uh, Jonathan, um, that walk he did, that slow, and he almost passed the door to the basement, the basement door, right? He almost did it, almost like it, it was a last minute decision he made. It seemed like that he was going to go down there and do what he was instructed to do. So I imagine he has seen her before and she probably told him to do that. I imagine. I don't know. I might be completely wrong. By the way, the mic's really far away from me as well, and it's really low down. So I might um, raise my voice, uh, and if I forget to do that, it might not pick up my voice. I mean, it's registering right now, and I'd, I have no idea what it sounds like. It's probably sounding more echoey than usual, because it's a good half foot at least further away. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I just hope it works. I should have done a test, but I ain't got time, so <laughs> it is what it is. It's going to turn out the way it turns out, and that's it. Anyway, um, episode 15, looking forward to it. Let's get to it. You met him. You know him. You fought at the side. So this was must have been early 70s or late 60s, I figured out, actually. Okay, if he's in his 30s now, which was 2003. I thought it was 80s when I first saw it, but okay. Like early 80s. Okay. Over language books. Is it more than just the lady who speaks Mandarin or Cantonese? Are there more languages now? Maybe. So I'm assuming they were to help with that. Help Giles and everyone. Wow, yeah, they've got a really got a house full now, haven't they? Oh, who's this? One of the potentials? Chloe, Chloe did she say? It is Chloe, right? Okay. Might have seen him before, right? Oh! Oh, that looks like the first Slayer! Is that the first Slayer? Yeah! I saw the hair! Oh, okay, it's a dream. Oh, they need more! Is that what she's telling her in a, in a dream? It's not enough, they need more of them. <laughs> we can't fit more in this house. Okay, well there's more anyway, right? Jesus, they're coming thick and fast, aren't they? How many are there? I assume that's what that meant, it's not enough. Or maybe she meant nothing's gonna be enough and you can't win this. Maybe. Whether that's true or not, I don't think Buffy cares. She's gonna die trying, right? As we saw in that last scene a few episodes ago, that epic speech she made. Why? name of almighty Grothnar would I let myself become human again? Mm, I'm You're really talking to the wrong fella. <laughs> You're always icky on the inside and disgusting on the outside. Icky. Your outside's not so bad. I swear, if Buffy rooms or boards one more of the potential girls, I'm gonna call a... I'm gonna call a health inspector. <laughs> you get pest control in. Get drunk. Repeat as needed. It's just more elegant. <laughs> Thanks for having me along. Don't mention it. I said these two would be good together. Weird. Is Blake asking me out on a date? Because that would just be. Oh, uh, is he trying to push this? Nuts. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm just out for the alcohol. Hmm. Plan to drink you under the table. You're on then. 
plan to get you drunk and sleep with you. Yeah, that sounds like. Once you're down there, I could join you. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I like my sex on top of the table. Would you let it go? <laughs> How forward is she? You're Jesus. like a dog with a bone. <laughs> yeah, that's what Spike's been like for so long. Just drop it. Okay. Hmm? Okay. No. I wasn't proposing. A girl gets hungry. You should know. Oh, thank God. What? Yeah, it's Demon. hungry. Huh? Oh, <laughs> thank God. Duh. Says you die. Does. Oh, hey. I'm worried that she's going to start hating Buffy because I think Spike's. Well, he is, isn't he? He's still into Buffy. Knuckleheads who thought that a cafeteria fist fight would impress. I'm not impressed. Buffy, are you impressed? Still, <laughs> I'm going to cut you guys some slack this time. <laughs> They've done this before. They're showing him in his job, in his day job. A rise in vandalism. Three students oh, missing. violence is increasing, is it? It started, hasn't it? Yeah. The Hellmouth has begun its semi-annual percolation. Percolation. Was it like this before? We're a little ahead of schedule. I can't say I'm too surprised. Buffy, I'm just a guy. Granted, a cool and sexy vampire fighting guy, but still. <laughs> Don't forget Snappy Dresser. Honestly, wait. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> He's sharp, isn't he? I've decided to give you this. Oh, is that his mum's old sleigh kit? What is it? This bag belonged to my mother. Yeah. Wow. Technically, it should have been passed down directly to you through the years, but... He's probably got everything that's in there already. Probably not, actually. Probably something she hasn't thought of. Wow. I don't know what's inside exactly, but I know it has something to do with her power. Oh, he doesn't recognise the stuff in there. Your power now. Oh. I don't know what to say. Try saying thank you, Principal Wood. Thank you, Principal Wood. Yeah, call me Robin. And I'd like to see where you work. Robin. Uh, here, actually. Uh, this of the hood. Desk. I'm in the... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he made a joke like that. I didn't mean that. I meant the literal character. That'd have been quite a good joke, actually. But I didn't mean it. Word got out and they've all been coming here since. Well, it's nothing like the end of the world to bring people together. Heartwarming. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, it. Command Central. They're a messy bunch, aren't they? <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Did you cook it? Funnel cake is kicking my ass. <laughs> yeah, I hear they're tricky. Uh, important job to keep them well fed. Andrew is our... Actually, he's our hostage. <laughs> yeah. I like to think of myself more as a guestage. So you... You hold him here against his will? Whatever else you're Andrew. He was evil and you know, people got killed and, and now he fakes. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> keep bringing people in. They're going to see everything. They'll see them. Big board. Andrew, we don't have a big board. <laughs> oh, he's a right. oh, oh, of course. I made it myself. The trio used to do that, right? Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, <laughs> this is us, and <laughs> this represents the first in various incarnations. The instant one emerges, yours truly is on. Face. <laughs> oh, he's put a lot of effort into that. You'll have to forgive Andrew. Or not. Mm. Yeah. We do have a lot more working for us than just the uh, big board. So oh, what's this? Ah! Oh, wow. Boot That's camp. Combo. Oh. Ah! Wait, That's is that Kennedy name? taking control? I think she's the eldest, ah! right? I think I was told that. Huh? Wow, That's shit. This... How many? Like 20, 25. What the hell you call that potential? Try that in the field if you were dead. Drop yeah, and Kennedy. give me 20. Holy shit. 20 what? Power trip for Kennedy. Shops, maggot. <laughs> Well, she probably put herself in charge, right? She's spoiled. I love this job. <laughs> Did you see that? I called that girl a maggot. Hi. Hmm? Who the hell are you? Who the hell An are you? An ally. Principal Wood, hi. It's so oh, weird to see you outside of school. She goes to the school. What are you waving at potential? <laughs> Wait, did she say his surname? Principal. It's an impressive group of recruits. You didn't say Hood, did she? She may have. They're not all going to make it. Some will die, and nothing I can do will stop that. School, pep, dance, cheer, drill, contest are, are coming along. <laughs> I filled him in on everything. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if I had to explain all these weapons, I had nothing. <laughs> I'd have liked to have heard it, though. Buffy tells me you've been, um, oh, how shall I put it, experimenting with the magics. Yeah. You could say that. Uh, nothing too heavy, though. Just the oh, light, no. safer stuff. Uh, okay. If Kennedy asks, her pointy stuff's right there. It's a destroyed of the world stuff. Inside. So much cooler than Snyder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. 
anybody who's called him Snyder. This guy's quite cool, she though. She really almost destroyed the world? No. Yep. She's told him already. <laughs> Remind me not to make her crabby. <laughs> yeah. Better if you did. First is coming, and then look at us. The army. We've got a bunch of fighters with nothing to hit. A wicca who won't -a, and the brains of our operation wears oven mitts. A wicca who won't -a. Well, you're redefining the job, Buffy, and that takes guts. Show me the vampire. Mm. But you just let him go. He wants him dead now, I assume. How's he gonna be with him? I don't think he's gonna let on. Safest and sanest way of saving your life is to keep you with me, away from danger. No need to thank me. I'm just the one who beat him off. He doesn't get thanked often, does he, Spike? Buffy did it once. Big fight against evil coming up. The more good guys we've got, the longer we'll all live. Is that what you are? A good guy? I haven't heard any complaints. If Buffy tells Spike he's the son of a slayer, he's gonna put two and two together, isn't he, Spike? He's gonna realize he killed his mom. That's the old me I'm talking about. Why don't you tell me about that? There's not much to tell. I've changed. Oh. Now that you have a soul. Yeah. What, are you just telling everyone now? Oh, come on, Spike, don't blame Buffy. I asked. Right, the educator. Got myself a soul. Whatever that means. And how's that working out for you? In progress. Well, you've had some time. You've been in Sunnydale. Years. How many? A few. Before that? Around. I think we better get back upstairs. It's kind of heartbreaking because you can't blame this version of Spike at all. You don't want to miss a look at a weapons chest. I wonder if he's just going to work it out anyway, like, just from the hostility. <laughs> Probably not. A bit far-fetched to do that, but... Translation's going to be a bitch, but... Did you know the ancient Sumerians did not speak English? Ugh, they're worse than the French. <laughs> Anything else? A box. A big, fat, unopenable box. I'm betting whatever the big deal about this emergency bag is, you'll find it in the box. Mm, okay. Some sort of secret weapon. Real homework? Oh, you mean like schoolwork? Yes. Well, uh, I've got a system. It's called flunking out. No, <laughs> just kidding. I'm paying someone to do my work. Your eyeballs change color when you think I'm gonna fall. Andrews do it. <laughs> what the fuck? No. She didn't do that to herself. No way. Is this a vision? Oh, sh oh. I was. I thought it was Kennedy. Oh, who's that? Just some, another thinking. one. But on the other hand, why rush? Oh, the first has been in her, made her do it. You're not Chloe. We just talked all night. Yeah. Well, she I talked her into suicide. Holy but shit. Chloe is, I'm sorry. Well, the first it was a good listener. Like when you called her maggot. She really heard that. Oh no. Listen to it. Yeah. Any of you. It's the first. I'm coming. You're going. All this? It's almost over. They're not all gonna make it. Some will die. Wow, that Buffy's voice. But I'll be seeing all of you. Yeah, I didn't expect it this one soon. By one. Why did the first reveal that she was responsible for that it was responsible for this? They it could have done it to all of the slayers, right? Or tried to. Wait, was that the one crying? Done. Where's that knife? It must, yeah, Chloe, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Okay. I was a bit slow there, okay. Not not unusual for me, but okay. Yeah, so that's why she was crying in the corner before the first Slayer interrupted Buffy. Man, that is horrific. They should really talk about this and make sure they're not fooled by it again. Is everyone here? All accounted for. I'm not talked into something like that again. Anyone want to say a few words about Chloe? Mm. Chloe was an idiot. Chloe was stupid. She needs to say this, right? She doesn't mean it, but she needs to say it. And anyone in a rush to be the next dead body I bury, it's easy. Think of Chloe. And do what she did. And I'll find room for you next to her and Annabelle. Yeah, I understand. It sounds harsh, but... Slayer. It's the right thing the to do. With the power. Tough love. And the first has me using that power to dig our grave. It's partly meant as well, I think, actually. Rides over. You're out of line. No, she's not. Yeah, well, I understand. She's not even the most powerful one in this room. With you here, she's not That's close. probably true. I use the power that I have. The rest of you are just waiting for me. Well, yeah, but only because you kind of told us to. Let's not try to forget, we're also your friends. I'm not. Sander needs to get what's happening here. Then why are you here? And aside from getting rescued, what is it that you do? 
I provide much needed sarcasm. <laughs> um, that that's gonna be my job. <laughs> You're here because you're scared. He's kind of taking that job from him. Force yourself to do what can't be done or else we are not an army. We're just a bunch of girls waiting to be picked off and buried. This is what a real leader does. Where are you going? Out. Since I'm neither a girl nor waiting, all the speechifying doesn't really apply to me. You're not excluded from this, Spike. Fine. Take a cell phone. That way if I need someone to get weepy or well done, I can call you. If you've got something to say. You just said it. Mm. You keep holding back, you might as well walk out that door. Holding back? Oh, that's gonna get to his ego. I've been here, right in it. Fighting, scrapping. Since you got your soul back? Well, as a matter of fact, I haven't been quite relishing the kill the way I used to. It's the spike that's dangerous. The spike that tried to kill me when we met. Oh, you don't know how close you are to bringing him out. I'm nowhere near him. Hmm. Get the potentials upstairs and break out that emergency kit. Yeah, I get what she's doing with Spike there, but I don't think he does have that in him anymore. But he needs to shape up quick. Cool staff, but we've seen it all before. Oh. Well, not this we haven't. Yeah, what's in the box? Mm, I don't know. It hasn't been opened since... Well, since now. Oh. <laughs> I'll be respectful as ever. Shadow casters. You put them oh. in motion and they tell you a story. It oh. says you can't what's just watch. Them? You have to see. What the hell does that mean? It's cryptic. See what? It's where all my fancy translating skills break down. You have to interpret, I guess. Origin myth. The story of the very first Slayer. I, I saw her the other night in my dream. It's got to mean something, right? <laughs> They're doing it, aren't they? First, there is the Earth. Wait, is this going to be the Cape, the Resurrection Stone, and the Wand? <laughs> Together they make the Deathly Hallows. Then there came the demons. After demons, there came men. <laughs> Shit. Men found a girl. It took the girl to fight the demon. The first slayer. It became the first slayer, yes. He chained her to the earth. Something uh, about darkness? What about darkness? It says you cannot be shown. See for yourself, but only if you're willing to make the exchange. When did you get so good at Sumerian? It's not in Sumerian mm. anymore. No, it's translating. Oh, wow. But what does it mean? What? It means I have to go in there. Trust your instincts. Are we willing to take the step? How will we get you to back? To see. Find a way. Oh, <laughs> there's no hesitation. She's gone. Holy huh. shit. What was that about an exchange? Yeah. Oh, is this thing is coming into place. Exchange student. <laughs> exchange student. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's got a French. I uh, wonder if he's French. They're the exchange students we usually have here in the UK. Weapon. He's a big fan of this demon. <laughs> yeah, this is good for the potentials. Oh, Dawn. <laughs> Xander, he's usually getting stuck in. We're out of here. All of you. Yeah, well done, Spike. All dead and useless. What are you going to do? What I do best. It's a woken spike. Uh, <laughs> he threw him upstairs. Where'd he go? The wreak havoc on Sunnydale, I guess. Is getting thrown through the ceiling what he does best? <laughs> I'll go check on him. Oh, and we've got bigger problems than that. Demon loose, no slayer. We need Buffy. This is Sunnydale, though. I'm sure there's plenty. This one looks particularly Didn't dangerous. You see that thing? And you expect to reopen the portal without sending Willow off the deep end? Thanks for your support. Well, it's true. It's having his problem, man. Oh, she's always like this, actually. Gotta get her back. We don't even know where she went. We're gonna get to see? Yep. Oh, okay. She's back in the desert. So what? Is this gonna be another conversation with her? Or maybe she'll see it. Maybe she'll see the men making the Slayer, maybe. Well, I guess that worked. <laughs> Drop some breadcrumbs so you can get back. Yeah, I'm guessing this is back in time and she's going to see how it went down, maybe. Although you'd think there'd be more trees and stuff back then. You've got the magic, use it. What? I, I, I don't even know what magic to use. Why not just try all 32 flavors? Worst thing that happens is you go good idea. That's not the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> she's right. If she's so superior, let her find her own way back. Anya, the first is already up and running. Super jealous of Buffy. Magic works off physics. If you're talking about transferring energies, you need some kind of conduit. Skin of Draconis, um, ground up Baltic stone, something. 
Okay. Where are you gonna get that from? Good. Plus, we need an exchange. If we want Buffy back, then we have to find that demon and send it through. It matter if it's dead or alive. I vote dead. <laughs> Spike's Spy got revenge on his mind. On you, Willow. Demon's mine. I hate to say it, big bad, but you look like you can barely stand. We're trained. And the only thing we know for sure about this demon is <laughs> it kicked your ass. Where are you going? Something I need. <clears throat> uh oh. Tell me he's thinking about losing his soul again, surely not. Buffy, I'm the slayer. Is this enough for Ham where we're in none? Right. So these are the fellows that made the first layer. You know, I know we have bigger issues to deal with, but how do I understand anything you guys just said? <laughs> yeah, she does have subtitles. When you money a shatani. Uh, latest. Y you mean latest guardian? Oh, he's going to be the last. Tell me what I need to know. I, I came to Ooh. learn. This is like a play, like some shadow play. Hologrammy. No! Okay. We hold hands and chant kumbaya or something? Maybe. <laughs> he's been spending too much time with Giles. Maybe we should wait. For what? A spike to see if he can bring back that demon. I, I think I might pee my pants. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, Kennedy's been supportive. The uh, spotty tailbio. Right they didn't want to retrieve Buffy before she's found out anything. This could take a while. Or not. Wait, is Buffy going to go through? Uh, sorry, Willow. Is she going to go through this portal? Like what is this? Cave? Oh, they've chained her up. What? Why? They chained her to the earth. Nguviyako in Atoka Apa. Bursting with power, really don't need any more. Muaji wa kwanza, alikuwa hasemi mane no mengi. Yeah, she didn't quite have the quips. Uh oh, summoning something. Oh, this is a box. Gubu yako iku hapa. Gubu ya shetani. Kweli, ni muoyo. This is how you... Itengeneza muaji huyu, ndiyo. From a demon heart, was that? That would explain why she's attracted to the darkness, I guess. No! Oh, oh they're... okay. By making me less human? Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, it's probably for the best. I trust these guys, I think, but... Do we need a dark Buffy? I mean... They do, obviously, the gang, the Sunnydale, our world, but do we need it as viewers? I don't really want to see it. I mean, I don't think she's going to be, like, evil, dark or anything, but... It's going to be changed somehow, like, her personality. This isn't the way! Yeah, it sounds like it is the way, actually. Probably need to trust this. Oh. Yeah, what's he after here, Spike? Oh, he's... he needed his leather jacket, he's back! <laughs> Okay. Oh, I like that. That's funny. <laughs> wow. That was a good shot. Mm. Where are you going? Got a job. He's after this nice demon. Coat. Where'd you get it? New York. Oh. It was his mum's, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that was good. Hey, old Imperial. Screw it. Mighty forces, I suck at Latin, okay? I'm the one in charge, and I'm telling you, open that portal now. I'm getting scared with the black eyes. Yeah. Oh, well done. I think Buffy's still halfway through this thing. Oh, come on now, Nancy. What? Call yourself a demon. You're up for a proper fight. He's found it already. <laughs> he's back to enjoying the fight. Oh, he's going to be mangled after this fight, isn't he? Buffy's going to see that he did everything he could. <laughs> What's that? That wasn't this, the kind of sound I expected from that demon. Funny, you get hit in the balls. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> He's back. You think I came all this way to get knocked up by some demon dust? Knocked up. You're just men. <laughs> just the men who did this. Oh. To her. You violated that girl. I got this they wrong. They killed for you because you're weak. You're pathetic. Mm. Okay. Maybe she's right. Not every tradition has to continue, right? Some of them are just plain wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Snap this thing. Well done. I don't know your feelings, big guy. Trust like that. It's good for the soul. <laughs> uh, 
That was a really good line. Tell me something I don't know. Kama upendavi. Okay. So she's chosen to fight it her own way and I guess they've got no choice but to accept their decision. Oh, oh she's going back. Alright, so the exchange again, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So what was the significance of that then? Just to show us that Buffy's gonna do it her way or no way at all. It's her way or the highway kind of thing. Yes. You suck the life out of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's important that you know she's what I am. What happens to Willow now? What I'm yeah. like when I'm like that. I thought it would be. She thought it was some goofy oh, magic tricks, but. Cool somehow. It just hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm really <laughs> yeah. sorry. That's how I work. I got that. You told me. That's an interesting line. That's how I work. But she's accepted that she, that's who she is. I'll see you in the morning. Oh. I mean, if you encourage her and then you see what it's actually like, you can't be hating on her. He did warn you multiple times. Thanks for bringing me back again. That's what I do. <laughs> I was hard on you guys today. Twinkies and kisses, also peachy motivational tools. Mm. You okay? Not Buffy style, that. I made a mistake. Those men that I met. She's doubting it now. They offered me more power. You turned it down? It's okay, Buffy. We'll get by. We always do. I don't know. Oh. They showed me that the first Slayer was right. That isn't enough. What did you see? What did they show you? See something that we didn't see? <laughs> did I miss it? Oh, she saw this. Oh, is this the Hellmouth? Is this that deep down into the Hellmouth? Or is this a, a future thing where they're taking over the world, maybe? No, I think it's the Hellmouth, right? Oh shit! Okay, so she had a vision of the Hellmouth, and yeah, that's all those real vampires, isn't it? So they have got like a, a never-ending supply of them, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay. So what? She saw that and still refused it? And still refused the power? I mean, I don't blame her. That's scary as fuck. Right, so I missed something about that power. Um, I missed the line. They said something about a demon heart, so yeah, I guess... I don't know, organs maybe, I might have this completely wrong, but maybe organs of uh, d the demon or one of the demons that came before man, right? Um, they somehow mystically turned it into that powder and that gave the first layer at least, um, like, you know, extra strength, but also probably explains why she's so kind of matter of fact about who's, who slayers are supposed to, who, who slayers, slayers are supposed to be, like, um, we're basically killing machines, we don't have friends, that kind of thing. So that's probably what caused that, and that's probably why Buffy, I imagine, refused it. Because she doesn't want to be that person or that slayer. She's got by this far with friends and stuff, and actually the friends has been the thing that's helped her, right? That's kept her alive, actually. So, yeah, she's probably realised that she's discovered a new way for a slayer, and it works. Even though the first slayer told her it won't be enough. Mm, okay, that was really good. <laughs> Another really good one. Do you know this is this is shaping up to be my favourite season. Some people said season seven was like, mm, no, you know, I don't understand that so far. I mean, I've hardly got well, there hardly any seven episodes right left. Um, yeah, and I really love it. I love it so far. I mean, if it continues like this and it ends well, it will be my favourite season. This one, I really think it will be. <laughs> I don't know how that paints me <laughs> in my, my opinions. Maybe people are now thinking, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, a patron actually has told me, has told me that uh, it's their favourite season. So I'm not alone alone <laughs> with this. Um, but still seven episodes, so it might change. Like the last season for me, the, the whole Willow thing and the way she went crazy and it made sense, but it also didn't to me. It was too much, I think, that, that finale sp uh, sp specifically. <laughs> and it said specifically. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was for me. Uh, still, it was too much for me that, and I wasn't keen on it. But, and it kind of—I wouldn't say it ruined the season because the, certainly the first few, three, four, five, six episodes of that season, that last season, were, were really good after Buffy's um, resurrection. 
and there were some really good episodes in that season but yeah that finale kind of kind of put it down my list really of favorite seasons i think um it's hard to tell <laughs> after just doing it watching things once and doing reactions to it, it's hard to tell i'd have to watch the whole show again probably multiple times and i missed so much as well yeah um but this season's really good i'm really enjoying it i'm really enjoying it yeah okay yeah that was good with spike that was excellent i really love that with the get retrieving the leather jacket right um where was that by the way i didn't even notice i think i was talking then suddenly realized he was retrieving it in the school right oh because he i guess he took it off when he went down there he got his soul back and the first was whispering to him when he was down in the basement that must be where it was in the basement okay um i guess he took it off and stored it and just left it there okay that's probably what happened now um so either the principal knew it was down there probably not though because i think he would have retrieved it or he just recognized it somehow but how would he because he never even knew his mum, right or at least she didn't raise him watcher did are we are we going to get to find out who that watcher was by the way probably yeah anyway um i was thinking <laughs> I'm, I'm still not sure Giles has met him. I'm thinking, is it possible that Giles, that he, that he, maybe it was Giles. Is Giles old enough for that? Probably not. Maybe though. Hmm, maybe, I don't know. Is that possible? I don't even know. I'm not thinking straight. I'm probably forgetting loads of stuff, but I don't think he's met him yet. And he did say it was a watcher. I mean, Giles has never mentioned that, but I'm just thinking, because they, they even called the watcher who, who turned out to almost die. I thought he was going to die. The one who saw Giles, the the, uh, the bringer swing the axe towards Giles's head or neck um, before he passed out. That guy, um, I think, has been referred to as a watcher rather than a watcher in training. So maybe Giles was in training and he took on. What's his surname, by Robin? What's his surname, by the way? I, he may have said who, because um, one of his students. Maybe it's been mentioned multiple times. I just haven't picked up on it. I just know him as a principal, but um oh no uh oh no i'm thinking of another principal there not snyder Flu fluty or something that's what i was thinking for a second but no that was his surname anyway wasn't it yeah but he, i'm thinking about a surname one i write so i don't think i've heard his surname but i think this yeah she said it should i go back and check that now ah uh, can i find it i can't find it quickly i'm just gonna leave it okay i need to put my earbud in oh i found her as well okay this will be it oh that's <laughs> that's interesting because I, I said, did she say Hood? But she, it's Wood. So his name's Robin Wood. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's got to be a play on Robin Hood, surely. Um, and Robin Hood actually kind of lived in the woods, right? Kind of, if you believe the movies. I mean, it wasn't a real thing, actually. <laughs> it was. It's made up, that story. But um, actually, is there was there a figure called Robin Hood? And actually, there's no information about who he was or what he did. And they just made the story from that. They based it from that movie. I don't know. I should know me English, but I don't. I think certainly the Disney movie and the Prince of Thieves movie. I love that movie. It's a terrible movie. But I love that one, the Prince of Thieves with Kevin Costner. It's a childhood thing, you know. I watched it when I was a child. That tree in that, by the way, when if you've seen that movie, that's been chopped down. Some vandals chopped it down. I was distraught when I heard that. I've actually walked that underneath it. I've walked underneath it I walked for a school with a school trip uh, on a school trip. Um, yeah. Uh, we walked along Hadrian's Wall, and that's where it is. And yeah, we walked, I basically touched that tree and we walked past it. And yeah, we all knew it was that tree because at the movie, at the time that movie was um, was out or just been out, just been released or something like that. Yeah, I think it was around like, 90, was it? Or 91, something like that. Mm, I was about 10 or 11 then. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> anyway, I've got off track. Okay, so Robin Wood. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Have we heard that his surname was Wood before? We, I don't think we, we'd heard his first name was Robin before. Unless his mum called him Robin and I just missed it in the last scene, uh, the last episode, the last scene of the last episode, maybe. But um, yeah, I think that was the first time we'd heard his first name. Or well, certainly it was the first time I had. So yeah, whether we'd heard his surname or not before, I don't know. Um, but that's quite funny. <laughs> that whole scene with the Slayers was really good. It was really, really good um, in the garden. And Kennedy taking a uh, kind of a sergeant role <laughs> yeah i mean she said i love this job almost like someone had given it to her but i suspect she just took it upon herself because of the way she is i think she's the eldest anyway or at least she was there's a lot more of them now 
But I think she was the eldest, at least, and she probably still is at 19. Someone told me she's supposed to be. A patron told me that. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, really good scene. Andrew with just looking through now, Andrew with the board. <laughs> Oh, uh, he can't get over his trio days, can he? He put a lot of effort into that, bless him. Just looking at it now, it's kind of amateurish, but what do you expect from Andrew? <laughs> um, I wonder if there's any details in that board that we, we need to kind of, or that's a clue maybe. I'll look at that later in the edit or something. Oh yeah, the horrific thing was the hanging, right? I wasn't expecting that. I, I think I was talking or something and I was kind of, I kind of refocused into what was happening. And maybe I caught that late because I think she was on screen for a little while before I realised what was going on there. Um, yeah, there was, there was Chloe right at the beginning who was crying and the first had got to her. And unfortunately, Buffy was um, interrupted by the first. Oh, no, that was in Buffy's dream. Oh, wait. So Buffy dreamt that Chloe was crying in the corner. Oh, OK. Yeah, I guess. Why not? I guess. I mean, her dreams. You know, she can see real things in her dreams. So maybe that was actually happening and she was seeing it in her dreams. Uh, oh, yeah, the confrontation. Well, the scenes with uh, the first meeting between Spike and. Is it the first time? No, no, they, they met before in the previous episode, right? They're in the car together. But yeah, the first since um, Robin Wood, the principal, um, has found out that Spike's the one who killed his mum. This was the their first meeting since then, right? In the basement, in Buffy's basement. That was really good. A lot of tension there. And he kind of reacted or behaved the way I thought he would. I didn't think he'd let on. I didn't think he'd just tell him that I know you killed my mom or anything. I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, I think they played that really well. You just show, you know, I think they did that really well. Um, he's obviously, I mean, bitter's the wrong word, isn't it? He's obviously... <laughs> There, I don't know what is the right word. He's devastated. He's angry. He probably wants revenge, but maybe deep down knows that it wasn't Spike with the soul. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hopefully. I, well, I still think, maybe I'm wrong, because I still think Buffy might have to make a decision between the two, you know, to kind of mirror the decision between the two in terms of who maybe she wants to get with eventually. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so yeah, Buffy's speech, Buffy's speech was incredible and it was the right thing to do and I get what she was trying to do and Xander didn't seem to get it uh, Anya just didn't like to be talked down to the way she was typical from Anya really I said what's her problem but yeah, she's always acted like that and she, so there's no change there really but I think she's actually quite now quite jealous of um, Buffy because she kind of, it looked like she, she wants to get with Spike um, again <laughs> and maybe permanently and yeah he's just not interested is he really and we know why he likes Buffy he loves Buffy really um yeah but that was really good so basically told them a bunch of home truths she told them how it is and what she, how she wants them to be even Spike and Spike woke up and it worked on Spike and yeah he does he was enjoying it wasn't he he does still have that in him it makes sense because he's still the demon's there isn't it so yeah um so buffy reawoke that in in him um yeah it was just really good seeing that it was really good i thought that was perfect yeah and dawn dawn did a lot didn't she dawn was um reading up about how to do this uh magic thing to get buffy back and yeah the book started to translate the is it sumerian or was it latin or something I think it's ancient Sumerian, Sumerian, Sumerian. Um, yeah, it started to do the work for her, so that was handy. Um, that was probably Buff uh, Willow's magic somehow doing that without her really knowing how, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, really important um, box, though, wasn't it? That that, that um, Robin Wood uh, kept. Yeah, so he never, it's interesting, he never tried to open it. He said he couldn't open it or something. So maybe only a slayer could open it for some reason. I mean, Buffy just used her strength, it looked like, but maybe it just needed a Slayer. Maybe he tried. Maybe it was some kind of mystical thing where it had been locked to such an extent where you just can't open it. A normal person just can't open it, maybe. But maybe he just gave up and thought it was disrespectful to break it or something. I don't know. It was a memory of his mum, right? 
whatever is inside it. Um, yeah, so it turned out to be imp- really important that, didn't it? But really, not really, actually, in the end. Now it's like, well, did that need to happen? But yeah, I guess that needed to happen. So uh, as I said at the start of this outro, that it kind of um, made her realise that her way is probably the right way. And it's worked all this time. Like I said, I've talked about this right, so yeah. And gave us another reminder of that, you know. It served that purpose. Yeah. I really like Willow and Kennedy. And Kennedy, yeah, she's a bit freaked out. <laughs> I mean, Willow warned her, right? She warned her. Typical spoiled. So I, I like Kennedy now, but yeah, typical spoiled kid, really, isn't it? That, yeah. Want, 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 and then just doesn't like things when they go bad kind of thing. Um, yeah, so... I thought it, yeah, I thought she was actually going to go, I thought we were going to see when she went through that portal and met those guys, I thought she was going to see them doing that to the first Slayer, right? Um, but no, but we did, we did see them at least, but yeah, they, we actually saw them trying to do it to Bobby as well. Okay. So maybe, I think, yeah, I think they said, I'll have to watch this again, but I think they said she's the last. Like, not the, she said, what, you mean the latest? And yeah, they didn't, and they meant the last, I think. So, I guess that decision that's been made by Buffy there means that somehow the the line ends with Buffy. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe it's like set in stone, like that the future's already been decided, and they somehow know. But in that case, they wouldn't have tried to do that to Buffy, would they? Or maybe they needed her to realise. I'm saying if they knew that this was the last layer, and they know what's going to happen. That either the first going to win or Buffy's going to win. But her decision there has changed it, maybe. But maybe, maybe they need, maybe they knew that, and they needed her to make the decision for them to stop, because he kind of, I don't want to say caressed her, but he kind of, I don't know why he did that. Actually, it looked like he was kind of accepting her decision, like or, or maybe that she made the right decision. That it was a test kind of thing, or, but if they knew what was going to happen, if they knew she was uh, going to be the last, then they would have already known that she'd passed that test. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe they only knew when, once she had refused. Maybe, anyway, I'm getting lost here in my mind. I, I hope I'm talking sense. So, yeah, maybe this whole thing, Buffy needed to go through it to get to the point she's at now. Maybe. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think it does. I got a bit lost with what I was saying there. Um... Anything else? I'm just quickly looking through. She came back. Yeah. Uh, ended with um, her revealing her, her vision, right? Of what she saw. I guess that's what that meant then when um, when she was reading from that book, Dawn, that you need to sit. Uh, was that when she was told that? When um, you need to. Something like what is not enough you need to see, right? So maybe that's what that was that she needed to see that what was coming or what was down there which would make sense i think because like you can imagine what's down there but to actually see it and to see that they're ready they're ready to kind of storm (laughs) kind of thing they're ready to break out of the hellmouth maybe or if they do that she knows now it's confirmed that there's an army (laughs) there's a big one and it's not going to be easy to defeat my feeling is she's going to have to stop it, not in a violent way. She's just going to have to stop, destroy the Hellmouth probably, or at least stop them coming out somehow. But we'll see about that. But yeah, maybe she needed to see that to kind of refocus, not that she wasn't focused at all, because she clearly was, but, you know, give her an idea of what's coming and what could be coming. And she's doing the right thing and she needs to stop it. <laughs> you know, anyway, I'm getting tired. I'm getting uncomfortable. I've been stood up for a while. I had a nightmare setting this up. Um, my mic at least didn't fall over and it's lasted. Uh, well, it's working. It's still picking up my voice. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do another. I feel really kind of uncomfortable, but um, yeah, really enjoyed this one. Did I score it? Oh, uh, no, I don't think I did. That was really good, though. Is it another 9.25? I really enjoyed it again. I know I'm scoring these episodes. I must be because I'm scoring them all between like 8.5 or 8 at least. Um, to 9.25 there hasn't been any so far this season that i thought oh that's a 10 or even a 9 point maybe i've scored one or 9.5 i don't know oh i think i may have scored yeah i think i did i scored the 
and now on reflection I'm, I'm not sure even that that was the right score but i just really enjoyed the episode the episode with um um the mental institution right the hospital i just really enjoyed that i just really thought it was good and yeah i think i scored that 9.25 which is probably way too high but whatever it's my personal opinion that's all don't get triggered if it doesn't my score doesn't agree with yours um yeah we all have opinions <laughs> But yeah, I've been scoring in too high. I know I have, but I, like I said, this season's shaping up to be one of my favourites so far. That's why. I just really enjoy it. Um, whether the individual episodes themselves deserve the scores I'm giving them, I don't know. But the story's really progressing, and I think that's got a lot to do with how I'm scoring them as well. I like important episodes. I like episodes that, um, you know, advance the plot. That's what I like. I think plot... I like humour. <laughs> I really like the humour in this show particularly. But I think plot's important, really important to me. It's just really important. I need to kind of feel like we're getting somewhere, you know, uh, and maybe because that's been happening a lot in the recent episodes, maybe that's why I'm scoring them so high. Anyway, I don't need to explain myself, do I? I'll just, I feel like I do though, but I don't. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And hopefully you'll come back whenever I do it, whether I'll do it a bit later, I don't know, but hopefully you'll come back and join me for episode number 16. I think it is. I'm, pl- <laughs> I'm using a new player for these. And it's not telling me what episode it is. 15 this was okay. Um, 16. Yeah, hopefully you'll come back and join me for episode number 16. See you then. See ya. Bye.